Hi everyone, this is Jordy McConnell, head coach of Ottawa Swimming. Today I want to share with you my learn to swim progression. There are many correct ways to learn to swim and many correct ways to teach people to swim. Here is the method that has worked for me. I did a whole video talking all about fins a few weeks ago. So the first thing that I want you to do if you're learning to swim and following this progression is to put fins on your feet. And out front then is a, a, a kickboard in front. The first goal when you're learning to swim is to learn to relax in the water. The board and the fins are going to allow you to do that because you're, you know that you're not going to sink. The first drill in the progression then is side swimming with fins and a board. Janice, our volunteer here, is vertical through the shoulders, swimming on her side, and she's practicing getting that perfect head position for breathing, keeping it very low. If you imagine a spike coming out of the top of Janice's head, it would be pointing straight down the lane horizontally. So that's a great position. She's nice and relaxed as she kicks slowly down the lane. That lead arm needs to point directly down the lane because the body will follow it. And if it points across the body, then she'll swim a little bit crooked. The next drill is to rotate into the breathing position by stroking with one arm, still wearing fins, and still with the board out front. Taking the time, when she brings this arm in, you're going to see that her head will turn and look straight down. We don't want to look forward, we want to look straight down and she's going to enter the water straight out from her shoulder, not touching that board, which will act as a bit of a tactile reference point. We don't want that stroking arm to cross over. So that's a perfect entry right there. Notice the head down, arm straight out from the shoulder. So that's a one arm, and that arm is on the breathing side. The next step is to adjust buoyancy by getting rid of that first helper, the kickboard. Fins are still on. So Janice has had to adjust her position here, has a nice lead arm deep down, fingers are slightly below wrist, slightly below elbow, and she's got that head position. So just adjusting buoyancy with the elimination of the board. With that adjustment made, then she's going to return to the one arm swimming. And that's going to obviously take a little bit of an adjustment to um, get that right head position again, this arm a little bit deeper, and the entry still maintaining the nice wide entry. Now, recall now that she's stroking on the breath side of her body. The ne next step, a little more challenging drill, is to learn to stroke and isolate the offside stroke. So she's got her one arm against her side, eyes are straight down, and you'll notice that she's stroking with the backside arm. So the way to learn to do this drill is just to go into the side swim, hold the side swim for three seconds or so, and then take a stroke and turn that head straight down. By just stroking with the one arm, she's going to be able to really focus on what it's doing. One of the great keys to successfully doing this drill is shoulder rotation. So you can see how this shoulder, the left shoulder is going down and the right shoulder is coming up. Not only does that assist her streamlining, but it also helps her in, uh, to get that arm recovered over the surface and back into the water. Again, nice and relaxed and slow, no big rush, working on head position and shoulder rotation. The next step is to take the fins off. So we don't have the assistance of the fins anymore. Janice is swimming with a pole boy here. The biggest adjustment is that she has to get used to slowing down. Any lift that she was getting from the fins will be replaced by the pole boy, but she'll also lose velocity. So she needs to maintain her relaxation despite the loss of velocity. Working on the head position, working on the shoulder rotation, and working on the strokes on both sides. 
Relaxation is the key. Learning to swim really slow and relaxed. Later the speed will come. So the final step is to replace that pull boy with a very gentle kick. Swimmers and new swimmers tend to overkick, and certainly kicking uses an excess amount of energy for the return of, of uh, propulsion that it gives. So learn to swim with a pull boy. Get everything balanced. Uh, watch our our video about swimming on the rails. I talk about pull boys there and how to how they can help uh, eliminate crossover. And once you get rid of that pull boy and start swimming, go nice and easy and just a gentle, gentle kick. Finally, do visit ottawaswimming.ca. We've got plenty more videos, like I've mentioned, and a whole text area as well that outlines more tips. Thanks a lot. Happy swimming.